But in the bullshit department, in the bullshit department, a businessman can't hold a candle to a clergyman. Because I got to tell you the truth, folks. I got to tell you the truth. When it comes to bullshit, big time, major league bullshit, you have to stand in awe. In awe of the all-time champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, Dark Dawkins. <laughs> if you don't want to explore a hypothetical, we can... I'm so, not interested. Just a, just a quick question. Just a quick question. Yeah, I'm, Is not, it, you're not, I'm not getting through to you, okay? In sure. order for me to explore your hypothetical, you're asking me to suspend what is ultimate in my worldview and what is ultimate in my worldview cannot be false. Okay. Um, what I'm simply asking you is to imagine a possibility where God doesn't exist. No, that's, that, that's, that's fundamentally irrational. Okay. Interesting. In the um, Christian worldview, that's like yeah. asking us to imagine a square circle. Yeah. So, it's impossible. Um, so, and, this is and idea. why are you talking about if the Christian God exists? Look, David, you have to be careful. He doesn't entertain hypotheticals at all, so he will jump on the language for that. Well, that's that's simply false, uh, Hannah. I, I can entertain. You've been presented four hypotheticals in the past month that I've not heard you entertain at all because they posited it's possible. That the Christian God if does not exist, if, and you refuse to do so. I'm sorry. Did the beginning? Did you my side that at the beginning of yours? Right. So I've heard four hypotheticals posited to you in the past, either from rational theists, not actually rational theists, but other people in either MK's room or several rooms around. And clearly, you don't entertain hypotheticals that may or may or not entertain the possibility of God not being part of the equation, because you believe that that would require either an internal critique of my worldview or you refuse to step out of your own to have an internal critique of yours. That is on record, and you can also go to Darwin's uh, Greatest Hits channel to see that you don't entertain those hypotheticals either. I'm simply warning David that next time he wants to choose his language a little bit more appropriately if he wants an answer from you. I'm trying to be nice. Well, you're incorrect, Hannah, when you say that I don't entertain any hypotheticals. You would be correct that there are certain hypotheticals that people propose to me that I reject prima facie because that the laws of logic are universal. And let's say hypothetically that it is a great fact that the laws of logic are universal entail an absolute denial of a law of non-contradiction. But you could have a situation where um, contradictions are invalid in, let's say, 99.99% um, .99 of the cases and you could have some uh, contradictions that were valid, hy hypothetically. Okay? Now, a finite person, um, it couldn't have not been more prominent that if an angel left heaven, okay? And remember, he's not talking about demons or Satan. There's only two classes of, of angels, fallen angels and righteous angels. The Apostle Paul gave a hypothetical. He said, even if an and omnipotent and always true revealing. Okay? Now, imagine you were to say to God, God says, do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of eat good and evil. Right? And suppose hypothetically Adam and Eve says, by what authority do you make that a bullshit? Bullshit. 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 Here she comes, right at us. Watch them come together. There it is. Look out. Wow, some smash. It's having God, like a, from a biblical, I'm only going to give you the biblical happen. perspective. I want your perspective. I don't I'm really giving you, uh, my perspective is the biblical perspective. Okay, okay, okay. okay you, you're... Listen to me carefully. The reason why I have to be so assertive is because I have this teenage mentality. Listen carefully. 